Rob, for Deontay Johnson tonight, it is strike three, and he was just ordered held without bond by a Cook County judge charged with running from police while carrying a loaded 9mm. Strike one was in 2009 when Johnson was part of a mob with big sticks that beat 16-year-old Darion Albert to death. Strike two, the I-team reported last spring, Johnson fleeing Chicago police, a crime which could have triggered the full prison sentence from the death case, but instead the state's attorney let him off the hook. Strike three was yesterday afternoon here in the North Pullman neighborhood on the far south side. Chicago police say they saw Deontay Johnson, now 24, grab at an object tucked in the front of his pants. When they attempted to frisk Johnson, officers say he ran. He was arrested on South Cottage Grove, but not before police say he tossed a gun that they recovered, the loaded 9mm pistol. Late this afternoon here at the Cook County Criminal Courthouse, Johnson appeared in front of Judge Mary Marubio, who called his juvenile history significant and ordered him held without bond. Prosecutors told the judge that Johnson took part in a brutal beating as a juvenile. This unprovoked and vicious gang attack on Fanger High School student Darion Albert. The state's attorney today taking a hard line on Johnson in the new gun case. As the I-team reported last April, Albert family members were furious that state's attorney Kim Fox opted not to send Johnson back to prison when he was convicted in 2016 for fleeing police. Under the law, any felony after the juvenile murder conviction could have rekindled the original full 30-year sentence. What the victim's mother said at the time she was told would happen. Because he got in trouble, now we're going to get the 30 years. But the state's attorney opted not to invoke the 30-year prison term, instead recommending probation. Had they sought to impose the original sentence, Johnson would have been behind bars yesterday here on the far south side instead of carrying a loaded pistol and running from police, as has been charged. No comment from Darian Albert's family tonight about this latest turn of events. A few minutes ago, a spokesperson for state's attorney Kim Fox told the I-team they agree with the bail set for the defendant in this case. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.